Good morning, friends. Today we're going to talk about love your pets. So welcome to Bonnie's Books. Okay, first we're going to talk about all the different kinds of pets that you could have. So, can you hop like a rabbit? Go ahead, hop. Hop, hop. Okay, can you jump like a frog? Now, that one you have to kind of get down on your haunches and leap. Can you do that? Leap. Okay, can you waddle like a duck? Waddle, waddle, waddle. Can you wag your tail? I know you can. Can you fly like a bird? Can you swim like a fish? Can you sit back down and be still like this? Okay, the next one we're going to do. Love, love, love your pets. Love them every day. Give them food and water too and let them run and play. Love, love, love your pets. Love them every day. Give them food and water too and let them run and play. Okay, now we're going to sing How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? But we're going to add a couple of pets with it, okay? How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. Now, what are we going to sing about? What is that? How much is that kitty in the window? Meow, meow. Um, the one with the long fluffy tail. How much is that kitty in the window? Meow, meow. I do hope that kitty's for sale. Okay, we have one more. Huh, what is it? Birdie, birdie, birdie. How much is that birdie in the window? Tweet, tweet. The one that flip flappy wings. Let's try that one more time. This one messed up. How much is that birdie in the window? Tweet, tweet. The one with the flip floppy wings. How much is that birdie in the window? I do hope that he is for me. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about now we we have some of people some people have fish for pets we used to have a fish and guess what its name was bubba yep it was goldfish so five fancy goldfish so we have five fancy goldfish you, can you see them i don't know whether you can see them very well five fancy goldfish at the pet store I'll buy one for mommy. And then there were four. So we take one off. Here we go. Four fancy goldfish looking at me. I'll get one for daddy. And then there were three. Three fancy goldfish. In a fish bowl they outgrew. I'll get one for Grandma. And that leaves how many? Two. There we go. Two fancy goldfish. Scales shining in the sun. I want one for Grandpa. And now there's only how many? One. One fancy goldfish. Swimming just for fun. I'll take this one home with me. And now there are none. You see, that one came from Loons and Twines story time. And guess what? Uh, I have one of each of these for you to take home. So you can color the aquarium, and then you'll have the fish to put in the aquarium. And then you can read, or you can sing the song on your own, and you can sing along with Miss Mommy. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, so now let's go to our book. The first book we're going to talk about is I love kittens. Don't we all love kittens? I just love them. I think they're cute. They're fluffy. There are so many things to love about kittens. I love their soft fur. Can you point to the orange kitten? You could actually do that. Go ahead and point to the orange kitten. I love how they roll and they pounce and they jump. Have you ever seen them try to catch a fly in the, in the air? 
footsie. Our cat used to do that. He would jump six feet in the air to catch a fly in his mouth. I love how they can fall asleep anywhere. Zzz, shh, the kittens are sleeping. Can you point to the one that's in the boot? I love their big eyes. Okay, now guess which one has blue eyes? I love how they meow, meow, meow. Can you meow like a kitten? There are so many things to love about kittens. What do you love about kittens? This is a very good book. And all these books are available at the library. You can have mom or dad order them or you can call Miss Bonnie and Miss Bonnie will order them for you as long as you have a library card. That is a cool thing to have. Okay, now we're going to talk about the grumpy pets. Who wants grumpy pets? Hmm. It's by Christine A. Lombardi. They went to a store called Perfect Pets. An animal rescue. Mom worried that Billy always seemed unhappy. She hoped this special trip would give him a reason to smile. Does he look like he's smiling? Can you see? Who couldn't help but smile with so much cuteness everywhere? You see the kitties and the doggies? It seemed everyone was finding their perfect pets, especially Sarah. But Billy was not amused. He began to look around, but every single pet was just so happy. Blah, Billy thought to himself. So he walked up and down the aisles, then he heard a noise. And there in the back were or Gross the Grumpy Pets. Mm. They were scruffy and they had grouchy faces. Can you see them? They were crabby and cranky and moody and a little like Billy. Billy stared at one of the dogs and the dog stared right back. Billy made a face. So did the dog. See? Billy took a step closer and so did the dog. And then, Torp! <laughs> I'll take him! The volunteer handed Billy the dog. Aww. There's a doggy for everybody. And then Billy held him, and they stayed like that for a long time. See? They turned their frowns upside down, didn't they? Everybody needs a friend. Everyone had found the perfect pet. Even Billy. Okay, now we're going to read Lola Gets a Cat by Anna McQuinn. Lola loves cats. She wants a real one. Mommy says looking after a cat is lots of work. 
Lola decides to find out more. Where do you think she is, guys? She's at the library. She learns that cats are super at smelling and hearing. Lola reads all about how to care for cats, and she, she pretends Dinah is a real cat and practices looking after her. Well, that sounds like a great idea. At last, Mommy agrees Lola can get a cat. Mommy and Lola find out how to adopt one. At the cat shelter, they meet Jeremy, and he shows them three perfect cats. But Lola can decide one little cat before, before, before. Lola can decide one little cat chooses her, and that happens a lot. Jeremy says moving is scary for cats. He gives Lola a list of things that will help. Lola will be back as soon as everything at home is ready. All the next day, Lola and Mommy shop. What a lot of stuff for a little cat. Lola and Daddy make a special corner where her cat can settle in. Finally, Lola is ready to bring her cat home. At first, the cat is afraid, but her own blanket makes her feel safe. Lola says not to worry. At home, the little cat stays in her carrier. After a while, she comes out and sniffs around. Lola watches. She knows her cat isn't ready to play just yet. Lola decides to call her cat Makeda. It is the name of an African queen. Maybe it's Makita. Lola takes every or excellent care of Makita. She feeds her and gives her fresh water. And look, she has a little phone here set up so she knows what to do. One day, Lola's friend Ty brings a special present for Makita. Ty and Lola play with Makita all afternoon. They are a lot of fun. At last, Makita feels right at home, and her favorite thing is to snuggle with Lola. Oh. Every evening, Lola reads to Makita. Tonight's story is about a famous cat. Lola loves her new little cat, and reading with Makita, the best of all. One last book, and it's called Just Me and My Puppy. I wanted a puppy just for me. So I traded my baseball mitt for one. My baby sister liked him right away. And boy, were mom and dad surprised. They said I could keep him if I took care of him myself. I love the pictures by Max and Leia. <laughs> so I am taking very good care of my puppy. I feed him in the morning. He eats every bite. Then I put on his leash and we go for a walk. I am teaching my puppy how to heal. He is learning how to stay. Except when he sees a cat. <laughs> my puppy knows a lot of tricks. How to sit. See, he's sitting right there, isn't he? No. How to play dead. How to roll over. He still needs some practice. Your face has a picture. Here we go. But he already knows how to fetch. <laughs> my puppy is a big help around the house. He brings the paper to my dad, and he's a good guard dog. <laughs> Thank you.
and he keeps me company while I do my homework. We used to have a kitty, and the kitty used to lay on my homework so I couldn't do it. He said, pay attention to me. Sometimes my puppy gets in the dirt. Then I will give him a bath. I get him nice and dry so he won't catch a cold. Then we get ready for bed. <laughs> he looks like a bubble ball. Just me and my puppy. Okay, everybody say, oh. <laughs> okay. Now, for the pet, or for the craft, I already told you that you would be getting one of these, and that is an aquarium, and then you get the five fish, and then you could do the, um, the song, Five Fancy Goldfish, and you could learn to count to five, and how to take away, and it'd be so good for you, and anyway, until next time, thank you for joining me for Bonnie's Books.